In this video, we will take a look at collision handling through a method called double hashing. So, in double hashing, we are going to iteratively check the indexes of the hash value of k plus j into another hash function hash2 of k. So, I am going to have two hash functions, hash1 and hash2. What am I going to iteratively check the index of? I am going to iteratively check these indexes hash1 of k plus j into hash2 of k. j is going to be an iterative element starting at 0, then 1, then 2 and so on. So let's take an example and try to explain this. Let's say that hash1 of k is equal to k mod 13. Let's say that hash2 of k is equal to 7 minus k mod 7. Okay, we have the two hash functions. Now, let's write down the keys. The keys I want to perform my hash function for are 18, 41, 22, 44. So let's see what the hash1 and hash2 are going to be. Let me write the key here, then hash1 and hash2. So the key is 18, then 41, then 22, then 44. This will be 5, 2, 9, 5. Hash2 is going to be 3, 1, 6, and 5. Now we'll have to go to our bucket array and start filling it up. So I'm going to have a bucket array of 13 elements. So this is going to be my bucket array, 0 to 12. Now let's start adding. So I want to add 18. So first I will take 5 plus 0 into 3. I will take the fifth index. So I will add 18 here. Now I will take 41. 2 plus 0 into 1, which is 2. That cell is empty, so I can add 41. Now 22. So I'll take 9 plus 0 into 6. 9 cell is empty, I can add 22. Now when I come to 44, I have 5 plus 0 into 5, which is the fifth index. This index is not empty. So now I will take 5 plus 1 into 5, which is the tenth index. This index is empty. So I can add it. So in this way, we fill up the bucket array. We iteratively check hash 1k plus j hash 2k. j goes from 0 all the way till the required number. So first it's 0 into 5, then it becomes 1 into 5. This happens until the index is empty. And I can fill that index. So this is how double hashing works. With this we come to the end of collision handling. We had linear probing, quadratic probing and finally we have double hashing. So now that we are done with collision handling, let's look at the next topic which we have under hashing which is called rehashing.